Good afternoon. I'm Jeremy Slotnick, principal here at Neshoba Valley Technical High School. A warm welcome to our honored guests, faculty members, and staff that are here with us, to the families, and most especially to you, the class of 2020. At this time, please remain standing for the national anthem. The American flag is just to my right here. At this time, we will observe a moment of silence in memory of our friends, classmates, and family that cannot be here with us today, as well as those around the world who have lost their lives to widespread disease. Thank you. Graduates, please be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize some of our honored guests and members of the school committee who are here to celebrate with us today. Behind me, we have school committee member, Ms. Andrea Fontaine. <laughs> school committee member, Mr. Chris Prell. <laughs> school committee chairman, Charlie Ellis also a former graduate of Neshoba Tech. <laughs> Dr. Denise Pigeon, our current superintendent. <laughs> and our banking, retail, and marketing instructor, Ms. Andrea Bendel. <laughs> I would also like to take a moment to thank a few people who are helping us out. Uh, we have helping out with the parking, Parking, Mr. Ed Story. <laughs> Health assisting teacher and senior class advisor, Ms. Teresa Restaino. <laughs> and science teacher, Mr. David McCloskey. <laughs> Helping out with all the technical aspects, we have Mr. Neil Erickson. TV media teacher, Ms. Emily Smith. And TV media teacher, Mr. Eric Stevenson. So as you're probably aware, this is a, a hybrid ceremony. This is obviously the live portion, but we also have a virtual portion, which is online for you to view at your convenience. Uh, there are a number of speeches posted. There's one from our superintendent, Dr. Pigeon. There's also one from Mr. Ellis as uh, the school committee chair and, and a graduate who was part of the first graduating class 50 years ago. We thought it made sense to have him here on our 50th anniversary to speak. Also, your valedictorian, Kaylee Walsh, uh, gives a speech. And right here from this particular group, we have Danielle Wattman, your salutatorian. And her speech is also a part of that video, so I'd encourage you to see it. Additionally, we have Abigail Cronin, who's your senior class president, who is uh, given a speech that is part of that video as well. 
And finally, the junior class president has accepted the mantle of becoming a senior from, uh, from the senior class on that video as well, and that would be Samantha Valcourt. All of the speeches are eloquent and inspirational, and some are even kind of funny, so I encourage you to take a look at those when you can. They're available, they are available at the Viking 360 YouTube channel, and if you go to the Viking 360 YouTube channel and type in graduation, it should pop right up. So now it's my chance to say a few words to the graduates. I was going to call these words of wisdom, but I'm not really sure anything I say should qualify as wisdom. Class of 2020, you are certainly experiencing unprecedented times with this pandemic. With it, it has brought a whole new lexicon, phrases that were rarely heard before COVID-19, and to be honest, phrases that I would rather never hear again. The first one that comes to mind is out of an abundance of caution. As in out of an abundance of caution, we will be closing the schools for the next four weeks, which turned into out of an abundance of caution, we will be closing the schools for the next eight weeks, and then eventually out of an abundance of caution, we will be closing schools for the rest of the year. Next, it was out of an abundance of caution, we will limit gatherings to no more than 250 people. No, make that 50 people. No, make that fewer than 10 people. And though I don't like the phrase, in reality, it has been important for us to proceed with an abundance of caution. And you, our graduates, have done so. You have shown empathy. You have thought of others before yourselves. Anyone who calls teenagers selfish need look no further than this class and this graduation to see just how compassionate you are. This disease, though it is dangerous and deadly, has wreaked most of its havoc on the sick and the elderly. But still, the students here have sacrificed, and with few complaints. This is a part of their character. And luckily for the rest of us, who will someday have to depend on them to care for us, and let's be honest, to pretty much run the world, it is a quality that they will continue to demonstrate. And that brings me to the second phrase I'd rather do without, and that's the new normal. As in not shaking hands will be the new normal. Social distancing will be the new normal or schools and businesses conducted remotely will be the new normal. These are changes you have had to incorporate into your lives very quickly. You completed your schooling virtually. You've gotten used to Zoom and Google Meets. You've participated in and been honored at drive-by parades, just like the one we had on Thursday. You have shown flexibility, used new technologies. You've made school from home work for you. Even made remote social events work. Now, some of these changes may be temporary, but some of them will not. And as the years pass, there will be new, large-scale challenges in your lives, both large and small. That I can guarantee. But these are nothing to fear. You've already demonstrated that you can be flexible and overcome these challenges. So in review, you have demonstrated an abundance of caution. You are kind and thoughtful, and your actions have shown that. Secondly, we are in the midst of a new normal, but you have been flexible, rolled with the punches, and you will be stronger for it. You are bright, kind, talented, shining stars. The, world's need, the world needs you, and we are thankful for you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Andrea Bendel, marketing teacher, who's going to say a few words to the graduates as well. Good afternoon, Superintendent Pigeon, Principal Slotnick, members of the committee, and the graduating class of 2020. Thank you for inviting me to speak on such a special day. It has been my pleasure to be your shop instructor for the past year. Although we only had a very short time together, it did not take me long to be impressed by each of you. I have enjoyed our time together, and I want to thank you all for that. For I have learned equally as much from you, each of you, being a first year teacher. A special thank you to Ms. G from our Lowell Five Bank. I know she is equally as proud of you all as well. So to Abby, Michaela, Dom, Shannon, Lily, we know each of you will go on to do great things. I wish you the very best of luck wherever life may take you. Congratulations and go Vikings. Unfortunately, 
Mr. Gold was unable to be here, but he did have a few things he wanted me to, to let you know as uh, programming and web students. He said his philosophy is to teach kids some skills and then help them find what they are passionate about. And this group that he had in his time at Neshoba Tech was so motivated and talented that that philosophy worked perfectly. They completed projects and learned things that he never could have taught them if they didn't have that passion and that intelligence to do it on their own. He's very proud of you and he knows you'll do great things in the future. At this time, we'll move on to the awarding of the diplomas. Uh, families are welcome to when your graduate is up here to get their diploma. You can approach to get a picture up closer. Um, I ask that you continue to social distance as you make your way from your car to this area for your photos. In addition, graduates, remember to walk straight out before turning in towards the stairs so that you can also social distance. And graduates may take off their masks when they're getting the picture taken. Graduates, please stand. Abigail Rose Cronin. Abby has quite a number of accolades I'm gonna mention. Abby is the senior class president. She was also the US presidential scholar in career and technical education. She was one of only five winners statewide from all the vocational schools. She earned the Vocational Technical Proficiency Award for her shop. She also earned the President's Award of Academic Excellence, the American Citizenship Award, and earned the Friends of Neshoba Scholarship, as well as the Groton Women's Club Scholarship, the Richard DeFreitas Memorial Scholarship, and the Scott F. Bailey Memorial Scholarship. She's also a member of our National Honor Society and our National Technical Honor Society. For her excellent MCAS scores, she earned the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, she won gold and silver medals at DECA and participated in a, in a national DECA competition. She has been on honor roll for all 12 trimesters here at Neshoba Tech, and she is the school's representative to the school committee. Abby Cronin. <laughs> Dominic Biagio D'Agostino. Dominic completed a senior project on the effects of vaping as advertisements on youth, which was very well received by his teachers. He was a participant in DECA and in the Banking Bowl here at Neshoba Tech. And his mother is also a former Viking. Michaela Rizel Jones. Yeah. Michaela was the senior class vice president. She was also the Mass Vocational Association Vocational Secondary Award state winner, the only high school student in Massachusetts from a technical school to earn that award. She received the Vocational Technical Merit Award from her shop the President's Award of Academic Excellence, the, and the American Citizenship Award. She also earned the Townsend Lions Club Scholarship. She is a member of the National Honor Society and the National Technical Honor Society. Her excellent MCAS scores earned her the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. She was a second place winner in the DECA District Competition, and she attended the DECA International Competition. Shannon M. Kane. <laughs> 
Shannon was an important member of the soccer team here at Neshoba Tech. Sean Kittredge Kenny. Sean earned the Lowell Five Scholarship given by Lowell Five Bank. He's also a member of the National Technical Honor Society here at Neshoba Tech. Logan Jin Grant. Logan earned the Vocational Technical Merit Award for his technical program. Lillian Margaret Woodward. <laughs> Lillian is the senior class treasurer and she earned the American Citizenship Award. Scott Edward Hopkins, Jr. <laughs> Scott earned the John and Abigail Adams MCAS scholarship for his excellent MCAS scores. Matthew Jacob Overton. Matt earned the Academical Academic Award for Physical Education. Danielle Andromeda Watman. As previously mentioned, Danielle is the salutatorian for the senior class. She has the second highest grade point average. She also earned the MASS School Superintendent's Certificate of Academic Excellence, as well as the Academic Award for Mathematics and the Academic Award for Physical Education. She also received the Vocational Technical Proficiency Award for her shop. She received the Mass Vocational Association Presidential Certificate of Merit and the President's Award of Academic Excellence.
At this time, I would ask the graduates to move their tassel from the right side of their cap to the left to signify that they have completed their education at Neshoba Valley Technical High School. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty and administration and everyone here, I want to congratulate the class of 2020. Our ceremony has now concluded. Please rejoin your families at their vehicles. <laughs>